Good morning, faithful family and friends. How's everyone's week going and also everyone's day? I pray all is well. And I pray everyone has a great day as well. So, we're going to get into our devotion and our word today. And the word, the scripture reading will be coming out of Deuteronomy and also John. Deuteronomy chapter 33 and John chapter 14. Um, I want to um, do a, my devotion based on um, peace and God's strength. Let us pray. Father, God, though our hearts may be heavy right now, and so much loss around us, so much hurt, but Lord, I'm just asking that you please speak the words into me so that I may speak them to others, so that others will hear and receive, Father. I just ask that you touch the hearts of many, God, who are hurt and broken, who need strength, Father. Father, give us all that we need so that we can make it through this day. And just help us to make it one more day and take it one day at a time, one step at a time. But, Father, help us to put all our hope and our faith and everything in you, God. God, I ask you for your wisdom and your word. I ask that you open the heart, Father. And pour your spirit into us, Father. Help us to receive. And God, help us to apply this word. And please let it be a blessing to many that will hear. Thank you for your word each day. And thank you for all that you do for us each day. Continue to walk with us. Continue to guide us. And continue to show us the way. We thank you for everything that you continue to do each day. Wipe our tears away, God. Take away the hurt. And Father, restore us and give us what we need as you know what's best for us. So thank you for hearing our prayers and God, thank you for answering them according to your will. In Jesus' name, we thank you and pray. Amen. So this devotion is entitled Getting Up one more time the eternal god is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms deuteronomy 33:27 do you read the quote below and think how how can i keep getting up when i'm tired and overwhelmed by life where can I find the strength to pull myself to standing after seven falls? That's okay. You can feel that way because falling down or being knocked down over and over and over is tiring. You may stand up the first few times, even though you were battered, bruised, and tired. But close your eyes and imagine this scene. You have fallen one more time but the strength and will to get up is not in your heart. Then suddenly you feel two strong arms sliding beneath you and lifting you up. The Holy Spirit. God himself will lift you when you haven't got the strength to get up. He will hold you tightly to himself. Draw closer to him now and know that his strength will be there anytime you turn to him. He doesn't have to be your strength. He wants to be your strength. Fall seven times, stand up eight. Remember, all you have to do is ask. God will always be there to uplift you and strengthen you and give you what you need to hold on and make it each day. He never said it would be easy, but each day 
brand new day, strength that he gives us each day, renewing power that he gives us to hold on, to make it through the day. So I always remember that you have a friend in Jesus who will never leave you nor forsake you. He promised that he will never leave us nor forsake us. So if you trust in his word and you believe in his word, hold on to those words and remember that he is with you in your darkest time and hour each day. So just call on him and ask him for your help because he said cast your cares upon him because he cares and he cares about everything, even the littlest things, even the, I mean, the smallest things that you may think that he doesn't even care about that you feel like it's just a waste of time to talk to him about everything. He's a friend, just like you come to a friend and talk to a friend about little things that may bother you. That's just how God is. You can talk to him about everything that bothers you because he knows what bothers you. So just come talk to him about it and he'll make it right, make it better. Allow him to do his job. Um, this other one that I want to read also for you all that's found in um, John chapter 14, verse 1. It reads, do not let your hearts be troubled, distressed, agitated. You believe in and adhere to and trust in and rely on God. Believe in and adhere to and trust in and rely also on me. And that's found in John chapter 14. Some days are full of joy and peace. Others are not. When we face the inevitable dark days in life, we must choose how we respond. We bring light to the darkest of days when we turn our face to God. Rely on him to lead you through the darkest days. Rely on him. There's going to be good days and there's going to be bad days. But through those bad days, let us try to bring light in that darkness. God is light. God is love. And he will give us the peace that we need to sustain and get through that darkness. Let us remember in James chapter 1, where it talks about trials and temptations. He said, perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. So remember, God is in control. I know there are a lot of hurting people out here. All of us hurt at some point in our time, whether it be death or sickness of a loved one. But we all go through some kind of hurt, and many of us handle it in different ways. So let us remember to try to lean on God and remember what his word tells us as far as how to handle the dark days when we're hurting and when we feel like sometimes we might want to give up or we just don't know what to do. Let us choose today the best choice and the best decision as far as when we're going through our hurt or depression or stress or worry or whatever it may be. And we may be, we need strength, God, to lift us up. Let us be mindful of the decisions that we make to be wise about what decisions we make and how we choose to handle those situations. God has equipped us with all that we need to handle stress, to handle hurt, to handle all these different things that we go through each day. God has given us all that we need. The Bible is based on so many different things to, ha to help us, to direct us, on the right path when we are faced with what we're faced with each day. God knew it all before it happened. But let us not make any matters worse by handling it in a negative way. Because when we handle situations, when we're going through things and we're handling it in a different way, all we do, all we seem to do is make the problem even worse. So let, let us just seek peace in all the situations. Let us just keep praying. And let us let God do what he does best in us and work the situation out. God leads every situation. God leads us in all those situations. So let us let him do what he is going to do.
let his purpose, let his will be fulfilled in your life. But just make sure that whatever trials and whatever tests comes your way, that you do your very best and you pass those tests and you endure it. But you endure it with God leading you and beside you. And even if you have to cry, you know, sometimes we have to shed tears to get through some of the hurt and some of the pain that we're faced with every day. And after you shed those tears, sometimes you feel a little better, even though the pain might still be there. But you feel a relief. So shed those tears. Cry. Talk to someone. But know that God is on your side and know that there is someone God has placed in your life that you can talk to that will encourage you, that will be there for you, and that will help you through whatever it is that you're going through. But know that you have what you need to face whatever trial or whatever darkness or whatever that may be going on in your life. God has already given you what you need to face it. So with that being said, I just want to um, pray for many. Um, I know I've been looking at my timeline a lot um, within the past week, and I know a lot of people are hurt, and there's been a lot of um, a lot of my um, Facebook friends who I went to school with. Um, a lot of um, people are experiencing death. I mean, I know <laughs> death is inevitable. It's all around us, but I've just been seeing it a lot lately, and I know there's a lot of hurt going on, and I just want to pray and uplift many around us who are hurting right now so um, let us pray and i just hope and pray that everyone enjoys the rest of their day and everyone stays safe and to re and remember also to smile at someone today and tell someone you love them and give them a big hug because remember it may be the only smile and hug and kiss and I love you get today so I'm gonna leave you with a word of prayer dear Heavenly Father Lord we thank you for your many blessings thank you for your word God thank you for speaking to our hearts and thank you for leading us and guiding us Lord throughout everything that we go through in our lives God thank you that we can count on you to deliver us and to save us and to help us through everything that we go through God, there are so many hurting right now. So many are lost. So much confusion. So much drama. So much negativity out there, Lord God. But God, I'm asking you, Father, to bring forth peace in everyone's heart, God. Those who are mourning. Those who are hurting, God, right now. I'm asking for your spirit of peace to be upon them, Father. Your spirit of comfort to be upon them, Lord. Wrap your loving arms around them, Father. And let them know, God, that you are there and that you care, and that you are with them, God, and you will wipe every tear away, and that you will get them through this, Lord. As your word assures us, Father, that weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. Help us to remember, God, that you are always with us, Lord. So help us as we go throughout each day, Father. Help us to take it day by day, God, but help us to rely on you. Help us to lean on you, Father, God. Help us to know, God, that you will deliver us and you will get us through this. So help us to persevere through it, God, and endure the hurt, God. Because, God, we know that perseverance has to finish its work, Father, to make us only stronger and to get through whatever other trials that may come in our lives, Father. You never told us that it would be easy, God. We know that sometimes we're going to have dark days, God. But I ask you that you surround us with others in our lives, Father, who will pick us up, who will pray for us and encourage us, God. Father, thank you for leading, God. You will always lead every situation, God, because you know what's going to happen before it even happens, Lord. So, God, I'm just asking that you prepare the way. Prepare our hearts and our minds, Father, for whatever is coming, God. Just prepare us and help us to be ready, God. And, Father, help us, Father, in all situations to react to it the best way we know how, Father, with love and with peace in our hearts that we will get through this, because this too shall pass, Lord. So, Father, encourage us and uplift us all, Father God. 
and just direct us and what you will have us do, Father. Show us what to do, God, when we are hurting and grieving, Father. Help us to know what to do, how to do it, and who to turn to, Father. Send someone to us, Father, or send us to someone, Father, who will help us through whatever hurt that we are experiencing in our life. I ask that you bless all those around the world who are hurting and mourning, Father. Please comfort them and give them peace, Father. Father, forgive us all of our sins and just get us through the day. Walk with us and help us to be in peace with one another and show love to one another. God, we thank you for your scriptures. Thank you for the comfort that it brings. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Everyone, have a wonderful day. And be encouraged and be uplifted. And know that God is always with you. All you need to do. All he is is a prayer way. It's always there. I know when we're going through something. And sometimes we need someone to talk to. And sometimes when we call someone and they may not be available because sometimes things happen. Someone may be at work or just unavailable and just can't get to the phone. But always remember that God is always available. He is never too busy to listen to you and to help you and to encourage you. So lean on God because he gives you all that you need. He is all that you need during these times of hurt. So I love you all. And I pray you all have a wonderful day. Until next week, we speak again. Enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of your week. Love you all. Take care.